early last week, we commenced the training of master trainers on election technologies to ensure a seamless process. Beginning from tomorrow, we will commence the same training at zonal level and subsequently train all the ad hoc staff for the 176,846 polling units nationwide. On this note, let me once again reassure Nigerians that there is no going back on the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system, DBAS, for voter accreditation. There is no going back on the transmission of results on the INEC result being portal, the real time on the election day. There will be no incident form that enables ineligible persons to vote using other people's permanent voters' cards during elections. We are committed to ensuring that the 2023 general election is transparent and credible, reflecting the will of the Nigerian people. The critical foundation for credible election is the voters' register. You may recall that the CDR, which started on the 28th of June 2021, lasted for 13 consecutive months until its suspension on 31st July 2022. During that period, the Commission gave Nigerians regular weekly updates showing the progress of the exercise nationwide including analysis of the distribution of voters by age, occupation, gender, and disability for our planning purposes and for public information. At the end of the exercise, 12,298,944 Nigerians successfully completed the registration as new voters. All along, we have repeatedly assured Nigerians that our process of cleaning up the register is robust. After a rigorous cleaning up of the 